What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Stock Bros Podcast. My name is Tony. Today, we're going to talk about Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, otherwise known as ETH and ETC. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and also check out my links in the description below. I have a financial literacy and investing course, and I have other links for Coinbase, Public, and Acorns. Check those out as well. Now let's get started. Before we can talk about the differences between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, first I want to explain what Ethereum is. So Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, but Ethereum is a platform that allows cryptocurrencies to be traded on. Ethereum is basically a programmable blockchain. Ethereum has its own currency known as ETH or Ether. So while Ethereum is not a cryptocurrency, it's a platform for cryptocurrencies, they have their own cryptocurrency on the platform called Ether, and that's ETH. So Ether is now the second largest cryptocurrency based on market cap behind Bitcoin. Ethereum was not intended to compete with Bitcoin, but rather find ways to utilize the blockchain technology that Bitcoin uses. And what is blockchain? What is a blockchain? A blockchain is simply a decentralized digital ledger that records all crypto transactions. Think of it as a digital notepad. And decentralized means it's not controlled by a bank or government. It's a peer-to-peer -peer system. So everybody on that blockchain checks themselves or checks everyone else. In order for something to be recorded on a blockchain, 51% of the peers need to approve it. Now, Ethereum builds on Bitcoin. It uses the blockchain for more than just financial transactions. It's more than just a platform for payments. It's actually a marketplace for financial services, games, and apps that can't steal your data or censor you. And it's, that's why it's known as a programmable blockchain. I do think that Ethereum is probably one of the most usable and real world applications out there for cryptocurrencies and on the crypto exchanges. So let's talk about Ethereum Classic versus Ethereum. So the Ethereum blockchain was established as one network and in 2016, the blockchain was hacked and 50 million worth of funds were stolen. So they decided to perform a split to secure the network and the split was performed to upgrade the security of the network and restore the stolen funds back to the original owners. So ETC was the old version of Ethereum or the original version, the one that was hacked, the one that's still being hacked and it's not anywhere near as secure as ETH, which is basically a theorem on steroids or the newest, new and improved Ethereum. It has better security, more features, and it's just safer. And the future of Ethereum Classic looks less bright than Ethereum since Ethereum is considered more legitimate of the two networks, especially with the security concerns, like I said, of Ethereum Classic. So investors is, have have lost confidence in ETC over the years because there's been so many hacks in the system. $50 million is huge. That's just an insane amount of money to be to be t uh, compromised. And some say it's Ethereum Classic or ETC still has some value and it can be used as a store of value asset meaning you can convert the ETC to cash or use it for purchases. But other than that, it's really useless and it's really significantly outdated. And a lot of people see ETC as a cheaper version of ETH, and it's definitely not that case at all. It's the original version, the less secure version of your Ethereum. Now, the bottom line is ETC is the old, 
outdated version of urethrum. It's less secure and you should be really careful because it's way more susceptible to hackers and attacks. You could lose everything and it's not that difficult to hack because it's been hacked several times. Now, Ethereum itself and EHT, on the other hand, have a very bright future. So hopefully this helps you understand what ETC and ETH are because it's very confusing. And a lot of people think that ETC is a cheaper version and it's definitely not. Remember, it's the original less secure version. And that's why it was so much cheaper per coin than ETH was. And for whatever reason, it spiked the last two weeks. It had a nice little run. It was going crazy. People jumped in on it. But really, there is no usable value to ETC other than a store of value. So it doesn't really seem like a great investment to me. It's not something I'll ever buy. If I was going to buy one, I would probably buy ETH. I'm not telling you to go buy ETH, but I'm just saying that's the one that's more stable, more secure, and the much better bet for the future. So thanks for joining in. I hope that was helpful for everybody. And let me know your feedback. Also, remember to check out my links and to subscribe. And until next time, thank you very much.